Welcome to readtheticker.com. This movie is a continuation of the previous video called How to Apply the Hair Cycle to Price Action. Previously we did a, we did a scan around about here. I, I did another scan on July the 2nd, 2010. Here is the um, Cycle Finder Spectrum scan results. The previous uh, cycle was 84. I see that the uh, the cycle might have uh, shortened to 82. I also had a look at um, the half cycle, that's 82 divided by 2 to 41, and to try to find the best cycle in the, around the half cycle zone. And I found that 30 had a very low bar tells. Well, not, not below 10%, but something to look at. Have a look at those. I'll just go back and I'll show you how to use multiple cycles. Then I'll use 30. You can load it up to four cycles. Okay. As you can see, the, uh, the 30 period cycle is pretty consistent swing action and height of amplitude. It's always good to see a cycle that maintains uh, moderate amplitude consistently over its time zone. A little bit wonky here. Let's, we, we know the cycle is um, prevalent, so it might come back in full swing. Of course it does, but we're not supposed to know what happens in the future. What you can do with multiple cycles is you can marry them together. You do that by taking the ID, the 1, 2, 3 or 4, and place them down in the combined fields. We put in 1 and 2 there. Um, just got to change the opacity. Just going to rebuild the chart. And here we have a merger of the cycles. So the shorter cycle and the longer term cycle are married together. For example here we had a double peak here, double peak there, a double peak there but price inverted. We had an inversion here. Okay, we had a double peak there. A bottom double bottom there, a bit early, and a double bottom there, and one here, and one here. Obviously in the future we don't really know what happened here, but um, we can see in the future that um, we had a topping here, but price inverted. That's how we can use multiple cycles of the readerticket.com analysis chart. We'll just now focus on one cycle for um, study purposes. Okay. Now, previous the previous video called. How to apply the hair cycle to price action? I introduced this chart. Here I said that um, the price action turning or reversal must occur before the cycle has completed uh, its half run. So here's the trough, here's the peak, this is halfway. For example, so. For price to confirm that it's behaving correctly with the cycle, we want to see price action reverse prior to the completion of this point here, or halfway through the um, cycle upturn. And same for the on the way down. We want um, peak, it's halfway down, we want the uh, price reversal here to complete before the halfway point. This takes into account the skewing of the tops and bottoms relative to the peak. If price is going to maintain 
any discipline through the cycle, it must be completed before halfway through the cycle. Otherwise, a um, price inversion is most likely. Let's go back. Let's talk about the um, 30 period cycle on the S&P 500. Now we want to be able to show the price action completing by halfway. So here we have the top, and here we have the half. And as you can see, it just started to turn down right at the end. We use the um, indicator called the RTT Hurst DPO. DPO stands for Detrending Price Oscillator. Let me introduce you that to that. Here's the DPO. So we don't need the um, single cycle. Here we have the cycle in question, the 30 period with the DPO, Detrending Price Oscillator. Set at 15. So 15 resembles half the cycle. That's a, that's a, um, a, a fixed setting. So this is our scan date. So here's our forecasted peak. This is our forecasted completion of half cycle, just, just prior to that. As you can see, the um, blue indicates above the zero and red indicates below the zero. So the reversal of price action came just immediately on the completion of the halfway mo point of the cycle. So price action, price action conforms here. The reversal comes in just in time to complete. And we get we get down to the same question here. So you're sitting here. And we know for the cycle, for the price action to conform to the cycle, it must get through by this time, which it does in the very last day. Here we have a situation where we had a forecast for a peak. We wanted the cycle to complete by here, but we actually ended up with no action confirming any reversal, and but led to a price inversion. So, let's activate the whiteboard. Oh, where, where is it? Whiteboard. So we had a, um, from the cycle of 30, we had a confirmed sell-off there. Confirmed buy-up there. Then we had a inversion which started in this period here because the price did not trend down and break the zero prior to the completion of the half turning point in the cycle. So here we have pretty three pretty powerful signals, all tradable, or adjust your portfolio for whatever. We also had, um, just clear that, continue on. Um, we had an up. We forecasted a bottom here, so price con price continued up. We had another peak forecast here. We got a top, expecting that to reverse. It did only mildly. As you can see, we went slightly red there, but it was late. Still, at the moment, you're seeing very strong bullish sentiment. So the peaks are getting a hard time, but the troughs are doing okay. For example, trough, 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 trough. Okay, here you see um, if you bought in these three times, um, you're doing okay. Obviously, with the bullish sentiment so strong, uh, trading against the trend can be quite difficult. It went red, then we obviously the, the cycle was confirmed here. Kept on going back up. Once again, the peak was forecast here. Another in the inversion continues. So trading with the trend works, and buying and re either buying at the trough or adding to positions at the trough works here. Now, did the scan on July this the second? I would be updating my short-term cycles uh, every three to four weeks to make sure that the bar tails either improves or is at least maintained at low levels. 
But as you can sort of see here, the 30 period cycle is very prominent in the S&P 500 between July 09 and January the 11th, 2010. So the 30 period cycle is something you want you would like to know about. So there are price inversions, but you can recognize them as you go along. Okay. Let's reactivate the 80 period cycle with the Hearst, Hearst DPO. Oops. Once again, the same methodology we used on the 30 period cycle can be applied to the 80 period cycle. And as you can see, the cycle starts to lose a bit of influence when this massive price inversion happens towards the cycle. So we had a very, very powerful signal here, just after the um, very important speech by made by Ben Bernanke. I would also like to add that the um, you must also measure the DPO relative to the cycle. So for example, uh, here you got a breakout to the upside. Uh, the price action was very strong on the upswing, very light on the downswing, and here we had an upswing but it wasn't so strong, so you sort of get a measure of um, how well price action is, is performing to the cycle. Here we had an upswing, you see price action very strong with the upswing and very strong with the downswing, so here you would say that the um, measurement of um, price action performing with the cycle was very, very strong. Once again we had an another strong upswing in the cycle and very strong price action here like I said before is the inversion this is where um, behavior actually changes in the market um, maybe a lot of the bears become bulls or whatever but the cycle did change because uh, there was a significant news story which changed behavior and I, I think I mentioned it was a Jackson Hole speech by Ben Bernanke and the mention of uh, quantitative, quantitative easing too the use of the Hearst DPO with other tools of GAN angles, Wyckoff knowledge and the RTT trend status um, is very very powerful and it makes reading the markets a lot easier. I um, hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching.